What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the big man on campus here for SPR Forum and SPRPicks.com. Today, I'm going to take a look at and preview the Big Three tournament beginning tomorrow, Sunday, June 25th, up in Barclays Center, up in Brooklyn, New York. An exciting tournament. Uh, plenty of different rules. Obviously, um, you know, plenty of things going on. I'm going to break down each team um, and give a couple predictions, a couple future odds uh, that I'm looking on in this tournament. Obviously, um, you know, a little bit about the tournament. Ice Cube is running this tournament. It's a new thing that I think a lot of people are excited about. Obviously, with the NBA season coming to an end, the NBA draft just uh, passed us. You know, I think people are really going to kind of miss basketball. It's a good thing, kind of a, a couple weeks after the season ends, uh, to just kind of relive kind of some of our childhoods and, and, and look back and kind of get involved in a cool little league that uh, should be fun. Obviously, the big um, sticking point here is you want to make sure you know the rules of this tournament. Obviously, um, it's much different than your standard 5-on-5 and your NBA or college groups. Uh, it's more of like what you did when you were a kid playing at a park or at a gym or something like that. Um, you really got to make sure you look at the rules. And I'd recommend checking out the rules. Some of the big rules that I've noticed, obviously, is... You know, the three on three. I mean, clearly you only have three players. But you look at some of the exclusive rules to this tournament. Um, first team to 60 wins, which is pretty cool. Uh, so there's no point spreads in this series. Uh, it's really just a straight up money line bet. Um, you know, and first to 60 is going to win. Halftime will be uh, first team to 30 points. They'll take a break, uh, a halftime break, and um, you know, continue after that. As far as some of the uh, take back rules, that kind of thing, and I highly recommend taking a look at that uh, on um on uh, on their webpage, big3tournament.com. Uh, instant replay does apply, guys. So that's interesting. Uh, instant replay kind of never escapes us. Uh, it's always going to be there. Um, and as far as take back rules, I mean, some of the rules are interesting. You know, obviously, you know, if there's a missed shot, you don't take it back, that would result in a turnover. Little things like that that are obviously a little bit more normal to guys like us because we played at the, you know, three on three level. We, we've played in, you know, parks and things like that. There is refs, there is, you know, it's a replay. So it's going to be pretty interesting. And, you know, you look at the quality of teams here, it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, as far as the schedule, it's pretty cool also. Uh, there's no home games. Uh, no one has a distinct advantage. Basically, they've come up with locations, uh, Philadelphia, uh, New York, all different places, and they play all four games in one day. So uh, it's a little different than a league. It's more of like a uh, like a, a concert schedule in a way. So uh, and then they kind of battle it out for the winner at the end. Uh, there's playoffs and things like that. So it's kind of a cool thing. There's not necessarily a home court advantage. Uh, I know I'm going to the event in Philadelphia. I'm looking forward to it on July 16th. Um, and uh, it's going to be cool to see Allen Iverson back in Philly kind of on a, a playing level. So we're excited about that here. But let's kind of jump into some of the teams that, that are interesting here. Obviously, I'll give a, a short breakdown of each team. Um, you look at the first team, obviously three's company, Allen Iverson's team. Uh, he is the player coach in this, uh, on this team. The problem you have with this team is th there's not much else than Allen Iverson. Um, you know, you got guys like, you know, Ruben Patterson, Mike Sweetney, guys that um, have been, you know, role players in the league for, for years. And, you know, DeMar Johnson's a, a capable scorer. But you know, other than that, you really just don't have much here. The thing for me is, what are you going to get out of Allen Iverson? He's 42 years old at this point. Um, you know, obviously he's been off the court for some years. Uh, he's been competitively uh, not a starter for a number of years as well. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see. But other than that, you really don't have much. And they're actually the favorite to win this tournament. So uh, I don't really understand that too much. This would not be a team I would even bet on, uh, let alone think they can win. Um, it'll be interesting to see game to game kind of in certain spots. But for me, I'm really just looking at this from a fun perspective with Iverson's team, just to kind of see what he has left in the tank. Um, but as far as winning this competition, I don't see it. Um, and I don't know why they're a favorite either. Um, next team, uh, the Killer Threes, who I got to say, I was interested in this team, but then I kind of looked at some of the off the court problems and they kind of turned me off. Chauncey Billups is your uh, head coach here. Um, and look, he is going to play in this as well. He's a player coach. And the concern I have is if he takes the Cavs job, what is his, um, you know, what, what is his status in this tournament? Probably not going to play much. Um, you know, obviously won't be there. Uh, so for me, that kind of turned me off. I mean, you look at the rest of this team, um, pretty effective. I mean, Steven Jackson, Larry Hughes, Reggie Evans, 
Um, Charles Oakley, who uh, it will be interesting to see what he has left. I mean, he's in his 50s at this point. But, you know, some guys just really just out of the league. I mean, Steven Jackson, Reggie Evans, I mean, Larry Hughes. I mean, we remember what he did in Philadelphia and with Cleveland for a number of years. So that's a pretty interesting team. I just – there's too much kind of um, things going on off the court. And Billups is in there. This team is a real possibility to win this tournament. And I would – uh, consider maybe making a bet just on the fact that maybe he won't take this job. But obviously, I'd recommend doing your homework. Uh, as far as for me, it's not going to be a bet I recommend, but I do think this team will be a good bet to make um, kind of game the game. Um, they're a pretty strong team with all those guys. Uh, the third team, Tri-State. Um, don't think they have much chance in this tournament. Jermaine O'Neal, obviously a nice uh, player. Bonzi Wells is a good role player for a lot of years. Mike James as well. Uh, the coach is Dr. J. Just not much else other than that. It's going to be cool to see Dr. J on the sidelines, and you know, going to see, kind of, you know, kind of be interesting to see what Jermaine O'Neal has left. Uh, he's a guy that you know maybe he can kind of do kind of what Richard ha uh, Richard Jefferson's done uh, for the um, for the Cleveland Cavaliers in some role like that. But uh, just not a team that I'm particularly interested in. Uh, but are a couple big names in this team. Uh, Three-headed monsters. This is the team that I uh, believe will win this tournament. I am going to bet them at five and a half to one. Uh, you look at this team. I mean, Rashard Lewis, Jason Williams, who, by the way, if you've looked at Jason Williams' white chocolate lately, he's been dominating amateur circuits. Uh, he should be prepared for this tournament. He should be ready to go and take it seriously. Hakeem Warwick and Kwame Brown, two very good options down low. You have the wing scorer in Rashard Lewis, a guy that uh, was a fantastic shooter for a lot of years in the NBA, and Jason Williams. I mean, just really a team with a lot of balance, some depth, uh, as well, a team that I'm really looking at at the end of the, the night here, or end of the tournament here, to be a team that will challenge to win this tournament. So they are going to be a team I'll recommend. Uh, the three-headed monsters at five and a half to one. Um, Trilogy, uh, Kenyon Martin's team, who um, he's been doing all the media runs lately, kind of promoting this tournament. Um, pretty good team. I mean, you have Janari Pargo, who's uh, playing in the MBDL. Al Harrington, who's playing over in uh, Asia somewhere, I believe. But Al Harrington's 37 years old. I mean, he's near the end of his career. Still a guy that can get the job done. Uh, Rashad McCants is on this team as well, which is a pretty interesting kind of sideshow here. Uh, if you follow Rashad McCants, you know that recently he made comments that if he didn't date Khloe Kardashian, he would have been a $60, $70 million NBA player. He now plays in China, somewhere like that. Um, so, you know, what could have been for Rashad McCants, but it will give him a little bit of a uh, national stage to prove that. So we'll see. At anything, this is going to give some of these guys maybe a, a tryout possibility. Maybe they can still shoot, but I'm not sure what three on three really gives you. Uh, Ghost Ballers at 10 to 1. This is Brian, uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is Ricky Davis's team, who uh, Ricky Davis has been very uh, adamant in saying that he believes this team will win the tournament. At 10 to 1, I definitely think they're worth the bet. Um, yeah, 10 to 1. I think they're, yeah, I might be wrong here, 10 to 1. I think Scalabrini and Ghost Ballers are both at 10 to 1. Uh, Ghost Ballers uh, with Mike Bibby, Marcus Banks, Mo Evans, who was a good player in the league. Uh, pretty solid team here. Ricky Davis, obviously, a, a lot of, of interest in this tournament. These guys are taking this tournament seriously. They want to win. It's very much bragging rights. A lot of these guys play together. Uh, it'll be a cool thing to kind of lift the trophy at the end. And you're going to get full max effort from these guys. It's how healthy, how um, far along are these guys? I mean, how old are they uh, is the big question. Ghost Bowlers may be a nice option as a high-end favorite. But, um, you know, Ricky Davis, okay. I mean, I'm interested in Mike Bibby. I still think he has something in the tank, but not one of my favorites uh, to win this tournament. And again, guys, at the end, I will obviously um, you know, break down kind of my uh, overall uh, feelings on this tournament. Uh, Ball Hogs, 10-1. to 1. Uh, I'm interested in this squad. Uh, Rick Barry is the coach who, uh, I mean, if we've seen anything out of his children, uh, they've turned into tremendous basketball players, his family, good bloodlines there. I think he'd be a fantastic coach. I think he's really going to get a lot out of these guys. I think the camaraderie's there. The problem I have with them, they don't necessarily have a go-to score. I guess it'd be Josh Childress, who I think is really going to have a chip on his shoulder in this tournament. I really do. He kind of snubbed the NBA, went to China, uh, has made a nice career over there, but I think he's going to have a little to prove in this tournament. Brian Scalabrini, obviously an, a, an option. He made a lot of money in this league for a long time. Russell Butler out of Philadelphia, going to be a nice homecoming for him, um, you know, coming home to the city that made him uh, on July 16th. So, you know, a team here that I'm pretty high on as well. I really like Rick Barry. I think he's going to get a lot of these guys. And at 10-1, to 1, I think they could be a trendy pick, maybe a, a sleeper 
paper team to win this competition. You know, a lot on paper, maybe you don't think, but um, they got some kids that can ball on this team. Josh Childress, Butler, obviously Scalabrini as well, who has stayed in shape and, and really um, worked on his body. So I look at this team as maybe a sleeper. Um, one other team that I am going to be betting is um, Power, who really on paper looks like the best lineup in this uh, tournament, uh, other than uh, maybe three-headed monsters, which I've already mentioned. You look at this power team, Katino Mobley, Corey Maggetti, Mucci Norris, Clyde Drexler. Um, yeah, that's basically Houston Rockets and, and L.A. Clippers. I mean, Mobley and uh, Corey Maggetti were teammates in L.A. For, in the 2000s for a lot of years. Um, this team is really good. I mean, they have a lot of options here on this squad. Um, and with Clyde Drexler at the helm, I think he's going to be another guy that I think is really going to get a lot out of the, out of his team. Uh, they have a couple good options, a lot of scores for sure. What do they have on the block is the big question, but I don't think with the size they have, they'll be just fine. Um, so basically, as far as what I'm looking at in this tournament, it's going to be fun. It's going to be cool to watch. I think it's a great idea. I think it's going to get a lot of TV press. I think a lot of people are going to watch this tournament, and you're getting a lot of good basketball players in this tournament. I mean, obviously, some legends like Allen Iverson and you know, Kenyon Martin and Jason Williams and Mike Bibby, but you know, really good role players, you know, like um, you know, Brian Scalabrini, Rasul Butler, um, Al Harrington. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal, who was a, a great player in the league. So um, plenty of cool players, plenty of fun. I know in my age group, this is really uh, um, interesting to me just because these are kind of the guys I grew up watching. This is the, when the NBA was really pure for me. So um, I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be involved pretty heavily in betting this tournament. Um, you know, sports betting we've talked about, it's all about niche stuff. And, you know, guys like Ian Cameron have CFL and, and NHL and, and some people like soccer, like me. Um, but I think it's about finding some of these niche sports in the summer that not a lot of people are concentrating on. A lot of people think there may be gags and things like that. But, you know, I think you're going to see some motivation in this tournament. Um, there are things on the outer edges that you have to look at. And like I said, it's going to be fun. So for me, I'm going to go with three teams here, um, and I'm going to bet on all three of them. I'm going to go with Power at 9-1. to one. I'm going to go with Ball Hogs at 10-1, to one, and I'm going to go with the Three-Headed Monsters at 5.5-1. to one. I do believe the Three-Headed Monsters will win this tournament. Uh, they're the best team, in my opinion. Um, just so many options, balanced team. So give me the Three-Headed Monsters to win the first and the inaugural, inaugural season of the NBA Big Three Tournament. Uh, I am the big man on campus. You can find me on SBR pretty much every day. I do a multitude of different things. Soccer, baseball, college, and college football and basketball. Uh, a little bit of NFL. A lot to do. Late night on campus with Donnie Wrightshead. Right side on campus with Donnie Wrightshead. Football is coming, boys. So feel free. Check out SBRpicks.com, SBR Forum, SBRodds.com. And also check out the contest over at SBRcontest.com. I'm the big man on campus. This has been the Big Three Tournament. I'll see you next time.